Hello, this I'm, I'm Gary Wyndham, and I'm helping do the uh, craft for sixth graders, rising sixth graders, and uh, we are going to make matchstick crosses, and this is what it's going to look like uh, when you're finished. It's really, really pretty nice. Um, I've been doing this uh, for about seven or eight years. Uh, my wife, Jane, was the children's ministry director, and she and her helper came to me and said, we want you to do matchstick crosses. So I've been uh, doing that at Vacation Bible School for, I don't know, seven or eight years. But it's always been a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, the students have always had fun uh, doing this craft. Um, so I'm going to show you... Uh, just tell you a little bit about the cross. I think the doing the matchstick cross is important because the cross is such an important symbol of our faith. And uh, I mean, you know, uh, for, for Christians, uh, we think of Jesus dying on the cross uh, for us and for all the sins we've committed. Uh, you know that uh, you know His blood is washed us clean, and and uh, we're you know just so grateful for what He did for us. So. You know, the cross is such an important symbol. And I think when you get done, you'll be happy with the product and it'll be something that you'll display at your house, in your room, or, or wherever. Uh, and I, I hope you'll keep it for a long time. Okay, so I'm going to show you the things that uh, we start with. And you're going to get, uh, you're going to get a, a piece of mat board. And I've already put this little uh, plus sign of matches on there. And this is kind of our cornerstone, so this is where we're starting from. So you'll get this, and you'll get a bag of matches that have already been burned. And then you'll need, uh, at home you'll need to find some, uh, something like Elmer's glue to glue the matches on. And I'm going to show you how to use a plate to put your glue on. So you need a little plate, and then maybe like a little bowl to put the matches in. They can get kind of messy. And then maybe have a little piece of paper towel. Uh, so. Let's get started and uh, we'll start working on this cross and I'll show you how to do the steps to, to make it. Okay, so uh, we're, we're ready to uh, start making this cross. Uh, I'm gonna give you some, hopefully some simple instructions and uh, uh, it's going, I'm sure it's gonna turn out perfectly. So uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a little board here, we've got a little plus sign there and I'll, I'll call this a plus sign so if, if I say something about a plus sign, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, we're gonna take our matches and we're gonna put them, put them in a little bowl. And, uh, cause they can get kind of messy, so it helps have them in a bowl. They're easy to get to. And then we're gonna take our glue and I found uh, through the years, if you like just put some glue on a, on a paper plate, uh, just kind of spread it out kind of thin. Um, then it will uh, it be easier to work with, um, you know, getting it on the matches. So it's easy. It it works better to take the matches and dip them in the glue and then put them where you want on the board instead of putting a bunch of glue on the board. It's just a neater, uh, a nicer product at the end. All right. So with our the first thing we're going to do, we've got to put uh, four matches in these little angles right here. And um, we're going there. Since uh, this this will be a starting point, so this is kind of important that we get these angles right. And uh, since we know right angles are 90 degrees, we're going to put our little uh, matches. We're going to put them right in the middle, and we're going to try to put them at 45 degrees. So let's uh, let's put a couple in, and then uh, I'll show you what it should look like. So I'm going to take my match and I just dip it in the glue a little bit, it's a little bit on there, and I'm going to put it on here at uh, 45 degrees, hopefully. And then I'm going to take one and I'm going to put it on the opposite side. And it should line up, for, uh, you know, they should line up kind of as a, a straight line. So. I've got these at the 45, and I'm going to put the, put another two up there. 
and this is it's kind of important to be careful with this step because this is really important it can change the whole look of the of the cross if it's not done so here's our 45 degree angles we've got them in and uh, they look pretty good and here's one here's one that I did last night and uh, we got it all set up so we're hitting the middle right here all the way around and uh, now we're ready to start adding more matchsticks for the first part of the cross. So we're going to, these the matches that we just put in, we are going to put some, we're gonna put five matches on each side of those 45, we're gonna put five matches and Hopefully we can do this really neatly. If you uh, if you get too much uh, glue on the board, just you got you got your paper towel, you can wipe some of it off. And uh, if you get too much glue up on top of the matches, you can just take your finger, like there's a little bit right there. I take my finger and smooth that out. So we've put this is match number five. And so you can see I've lined these up. They're parallel with the first one of the 45 matches. And uh, we put five matches there. And, you know, I was talking about that little plus symbol. We don't want to go out past the plus symbol. We don't want to cover up the tip of that. Okay? So make sure when you put your matches on, make sure you don't go past the end of that little tip of this little plus sign right there. Stop before you get there. So we're going to set that aside, and here is one that I finished out, and this was our original 45 degree match right here, and I've put five matches on either side of it. And you notice I stopped putting matches before I covered up the ends of this plus side. So you want to stop before you get there, okay? And this step, this is what you should have when you've put five matches on each side of the 45s. So it looks pretty good. Pretty good start. Okay. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to start putting matches here, 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 and here. And the way we start that, you know, I kept telling you not to cover up the, the tips of that plus sign. And the reason we don't want to cover up the, the tips of the plus sign is because we're going to put a match on the, each tip of the plus sign that that's, makes a straight line. So we're going to do that. We're going to put a match at the end of that plus all the way around. So we'll have four. Say okay, so here we here we have uh, we put the match on the the ends of the plus symbol all the way around. So we got one, two, three, four, and uh, now we're ready to put. We're gonna do kind of like the uh, 45 match. We're gonna put uh, we're gonna put uh, matches parallel to these matches, and uh, then we'll have a good start on our cross. So I'm just gonna put a few on here just to show you how to do this. Again, you know, you can work this up pretty fast, but I, I would suggest that you take your time. Uh, there's no hurry. Uh, goodness knows the pandemic, we got all the time in the world, so you don't have to be in a big hurry to get it done. So take your time uh, and just, you know, try to do a neat job. You want to keep all the glue under the matches. You don't want to get any glue outside of the area where the the cross is because it will it will be uh, it look a whole lot better so I'm gonna put a few more matches on here just to show you how we're getting started 
and uh, then you should be well on your way to getting this cross done. Okay, so I just want to show you um, the match that I put on the end of the plus sign. So far I've got one, two, three, four, five, six matches on there. And it's gonna take about 11 to 12. You wanna take the matches out till about the burned area on the match. Okay, and it's gonna take about, on either side of the original match there, it's gonna take about 11 or 12 matches. So you have 11 or 12 on this side, and then 11 or 12 on this side. Just take it out to get to about the burned part here. So now, this is what that's gonna look like when you get, uh, you get 11 or 12 on either side of this match. This is what it's gonna look like. And see, I stopped, I stopped before I got to the head of the match. So you don't wanna go all the way out to the, to the end of this match right here. You wanna stop, okay? So now what you're gonna do, <coughs> you're gonna, where well, you've lined up your, uh, we put our matches on the tip of this uh, cross. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention, sometimes when you burn these matches, these matches will twist and warp. So if you come across a bad match that isn't straight, just throw it out, throw it away, because you got plenty of matches. So if the match doesn't look right, if it's misshapen or something, just throw it away. You don't need it. Okay. So what we've done here, we've put 11 or 12 on either side of that center match, and then we need to do the same thing here. 11 or 12 on this side, 11 or 12 on this side, and then do the same thing here and here. And when you do that, this is what it's gonna look like. You have your matches here and here, okay? All right, so then, we're almost finished except for this part right here. And once you get the, once you get the matches filled in here, you're gonna put an additional match at the end. So we put additional match here and think about your 11 or 12, this is already filled in with matches. And we've got, you know, this last match here. So once we've put our last match on this center match here, then we fill in with another 11 or 12, and then we're done. And uh, so this is, uh, this is our finished product right here. Um, if you have any questions, you just come back and check the video, but it's real easy. Uh, probably the most important thing is when you put these, when you first start out and put these 45 degree matches there, make sure that they, uh, you know, try to get them as close to 45 degrees as possible. Uh, if you do that, then it'll look really good. Uh, so I hope you have fun uh, doing this, and uh, hopefully next year we do it, we'll, uh, we'll all be together. So I've shown you the steps how to uh, get this, uh, this uh, cross uh, built, so to speak. And uh, when you finish, it should look like this. You know, if you follow the simple instructions, I think you'll do it really well and you'll have this cross. And uh, like I said, when I started, I hope uh, it's something that you'll be proud of and you'll display at your home. And, you know, think about what Jesus did for us and, uh, you know, let's be grateful for that. And um, I, hope, uh, I hope you have a great summer and uh, everybody stay uh, safe and well. Let's, and let's close with a prayer. Dear Lord, we're grateful for this time together to think about you and, and, and uh, just study about you and, and, and think about the things that you've done for us. Uh, we're thank so thankful that uh, you died for us on a cross and uh, gave us a way to uh, be cleansed of our sins and just have eternal life. Uh, we ask you to watch over us and uh, keep us safe during this time. And uh, we're just thankful for all you've done for us. Amen.